What's up, my darlings? Welcome to The Wolf Among Us. Now, I'm really stoked to start a brand new story game today. I've wanted to play this one for a long time, and I know a number of you have suggested it to me as well. As someone who loves story games, especially ones with player decisions that influence the plot or the outcome, I'm really excited for this one. It's based on the Fable series, which I'm not familiar with, but it'll be fun to go into a new story, you know, not knowing what's going to happen. And I'm excited. Grab yourself a drink or a snack, get cozy, and let's get to it. Ooh, that music though. <laughs> I'm gonna sit here and like bop for a minute. <laughs> Love it. Ooh. Just like strutting down the street with his sig just like yeah what Ooh, look at those glowing eyes Ooh, this menu is just like really getting me in the mood you know love it dang what is going on here like you can see what kind of game it is from like the art style the like emotion going on here it's gonna be cool i sense it all right episode one faith here we go. This game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored to how you play. We love a good story game. We love to see it. Once upon a time in New York City, there lived a community of fairy tale characters known as Fable Town. The fables who lived there arrived hundreds of years ago, after they were exiled from their homelands. Through the use of a magical spell called Glamour, they have protected their secret community from the mundane world. Sheriff Bigby Wolf protects them from each other. From each other? Uh-oh. I'm assuming Bigby Wolf is the big bad wolf. If I had to guess. Date. Hottest ever in June. Uh, 103 Ooh, now. Here we go. Slow, but remember, the hotter the air is, the more moisture it can hold. So 103 with 31% humidity is a lot more humid than say. Oh, look at that art style. That's beautiful. And it is muggy out there. Ooh, love this color scheme going on. It's gorgeous. Big B already looks like he's had it. Wolf Among Us. Yay. I love his facial hair. <laughs> the stubble. Dang, I bet the Hugh Jackman comparisons are abundant for this character. Tenement building, sometime after midnight. Mr. Toad? Mr. Toad! <laughs> Big B! Listen, mate, I, I know I don't look human. It's a problem, I get it. I just stepped out the apartment for just a second to see what kind of damage this drunk shit is doing. Oh, he's a cockney, mate. Just cut me Hello? Up, yeah? I'll get me glamour first thing in the morning. Cross my arm. <laughs> I'm looking at a three foot toad. I'm looking at a three foot toad <laughs> in a sweater. That's a problem. His little sweater. You can't afford to look human. You're going to the farm. It's as simple as that. Oh, they go you to the farm? You up to live with those animals. Oh, no. Poor you Mr. Know toad. What I mean? Go see a witch. Get a glamour. Yes, which is dry, mate. The quality of the spout goes down, but the rates keep climbing up. Oh, Do you have no. any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? I've got to pause really quick because that's basically how I talked as a child, so <laughs> fun little tidbit. I don't make the rules. I don't make the rules. Sorry. I can't give you a free pass on this, Toad. My hands are tied. Right, right. There's too much at stake. Whatever it costs, Aww. it's worth it. You don't 
Want me catching you out of glamour again. Poor Mr. Toad. Oh. <laughs> See? This is what I told you about, Sheriff. Fucking Sheriff. hell. You're just gonna stand there. <laughs> Do something, Big B. Before he completely tears up the place. So what have I walked... Oh, no, he didn't say anything. I was going to ask what I walked into. Thanks for that, Big B. You're a real gentleman. He just ashes cigarette on the floor. This is the last straw, Big B. He has to go. Who? Who is it? Um, why is he so pissed? Him off. Who knows why it was this time? Man's got a hair trigger. I avoid him as much as possible. When did he start drinking? Not sure he ever stopped. Uh-oh. I didn't know anyone else was up there. New Book of Fables entry unlocked. Hmm. Very prick, got shite. Come here to spend my money. Got shite. Dad, the lights are shaking again. What did oh, I say? Baby you want a big bad wolf to take you away? No. <laughs> then get that fuck back inside. Damn. All right, mate. Jesus. <laughs> oh. All right, what's going on up here? You're gonna know who I fucking am, you hear me? Hey, look at me! Lovely. How do I pick things up? There we go. Let go! Matchbook. Take a look. Take a good look. No Ooh, one I can pick that up. Hey, look at me! Oh, I can kick the door down. Oh, what an God entrance! Oh, <gasps> whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, you better not. Ooh, you've got something on your face. Fuck, are you talking about you stupid? <laughs> oh, I'll fucking kill you! What's going on here? All right, what's going on? Here? Oh my God! Okay, we're gonna what are fight. What you gonna fucking do, huh? Get the fuck out of the way before you get the axe. This is your last warning. Woody, this is your last warning. Woody, is that the Keep woodsman? Like this, I won't have any choice but to put you down. Ooh. You got a shit fucking memory, wolf. That's not how it went last time. This is this the woodsman is who killed the wolf. <laughs> oh, okay. Here we go, here we go. Oh god, oh god. Oh. Into the sink. Oh. Okay, he's gonna shank me. Okay. Nope. Nope. Oof. Oh. oh dear. Oh dear. Oh. Fucking for punishment. Damn. Into the bookcase. The bookshelf. Back off, asshole. <laughs> Oh, no, no, no. Recap. Oof. Damn, dude. Into the desk. Bottle. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh my God. Oh. Damn, dude, into that thing. Oof. Ow. Glass in my face now. Oh, no, he's got the axe. Oh, no, he's got the axe. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Gimme. Damn, okay. You should probably get out of here. Look, I'm not leaving until I get what's mine. You're not getting shit, bitch. I'll fucking put you on the ground. Be nice or I'll hey. make you wait outside. Can't be nice, I'm gonna make you wait outside. Oh, fucking shit. God, did we break his you jaw? my jaw, you <laughs> bastard. And still you talk. <laughs> Fuck. 
you. <laughs> Shit. What happened? What the hell is going on? What happened? Are you okay? A misunderstanding that turned into a real shit show. Don't worry. You saw the best bits. There's more where that came from, girly. Knock it off. You need to calm down, dude. Look, this is just the start of a shitty night for me. I just need the money he owes me, then I can go. Are you alright? Right? I'm hunky-dory. Thanks for asking. Why was he hitting Why you? Why was he hitting you? Maybe you should ask him that. I will, but I asked you first. He asked me if I recognized him, knew who he was. I said I didn't. He started beating on me. Wow. Then you showed up, started beating on him. That about cover it, hun? I'm the woodsman, you whore. You oh, need to calm down. Red Riding Hood from this monster. I cut this fucker open. Dang. And belly full of stones. Uh, and threw him in the fucking river. That's who the fuck I am, you, you excuse me a moment? Bitch. Uh, would you excuse me for a moment? By all means. Come on. Oh. <laughs> Dang. Wakey, wakey. <laughs> Hello, Toad. Hey, Toad. My car. Oh, yeah. no. Give me a second. My everything hurts. Oh, no, by all means. Take your time. Make yourself comfortable. Sorry about the car. Uh, sorry about the car. We ended up going out the window. Couldn't be avoided. It happens. I called you, and you come to help. I can't be made. But even when you help, Things end up more fucked than they started. Aww. Well, at least you're not fucking dead. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, here we go again. Leave me alone, jerk. Yeah, dude. Chill out. Ow, 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 ow. Fucking in there. Come on out, you fucking dog. I'll put you out of your misery. You fucking lumbro. You ignorant fuck. Come on out, wall. Oh. oh! That's an axe in the back of the skull. New book of fables entry unlocked. I wanted to check out this book. Thank you. <clears throat> He's still alive. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Oof. Brutal. I'm just getting what he owes me. You all right back there? I mean, your eyes. And yeah, did you see that? You're not really supposed to do that, are you? Not if I can avoid it. Great. The guy's got an axe in his brain. He's not feeling that. It's more for me. It's more for me. Oh, <laughs> I didn't know she was going to say that. You, you fucking bitch. How is he still alive? Uh, I'll let her. He's having a bad day. That makes two of us. I guess it's a good oh, thing. Oh God! To kill. Suppose it is. Oh, so fables are hard to kill. All right, that would explain why he's still alive. Oh, oh, dude! <laughs> oh man! Light the lady's cigarette. I'm gonna be gentlemanly. Here. Thanks. 
Who do you work for, really? These lips are sealed. Sorry. Aw, oh, come on, you can tell me. Hey, you like my ribbon? Beautiful. Beautiful. Thank you. Oh, that made her sad. Did I say the wrong thing? I feel like we've met before. We probably have. We all sort of knew each other at one point or another. But things change, I guess. I guess. Now where'd he go? That guy. Stop. We don't have to make any more of a thing out of it than it already is. He hit you. He hit you. He needs to pay for that. He's got nothing to give, Sheriff. I checked. Besides, I just swung an axe <laughs> at the guy's head. Fair. I'd say we're even. Oh, there's a lost cat called Pixel in the background. I'm not going to be doing this for much longer. So, now's your chance. A hundred. I'm guessing it'd be bad for you to show up empty-handed. I'll be fine. You sure about that? If I have money, let's give her some money. Let's see, I've got, uh... It's 20, 40, 7, 8, 58. It's all I got. Uh, it'll help, right? Take it. It's okay. I'll be fine. You've done Aww. enough, really. Okay. Just take the money, okay? You got me out of a bad situation back there. Thanks. You're welcome. I'm still gonna need a statement. I have to go drop off what I have. Meet me back at my office, then. It's a little late for an office visit, Sheriff. I'll swing by your apartment. Ah, he's the head guy in charge around here. Smallest apartment in the woodlands. Everyone knows that. Good to know. You should get cleaned up. You look like shit. <laughs> and I don't use that term lightly. Thanks, babe. Some of these look pretty bad. I clean up okay. I clean up okay. I'll believe it when I see it. Mm. Some serious eye contact going on here. I need to tell you something. What? Tell me. What is it? You're not as bad as everyone says you are. Ooh. I'll see you around, Wolf. Bye bye. Ooh, so much intrigue. Ooh. Ooh, love this music. So mysterious. Love it. This art style is so rad. Episode 1 Faith. Woodland Luxury Apartments. 
alright. Let's move. Ooh, what's this? Luxury apartment. Wish they wouldn't advertise that. <laughs> alright, let's go. Shall we look around a bit? Ooh, what's this? Stay off the grass. Sometimes be a disciplinarian. Snow? Does that mean Snow White lives here? I wonder. Oh. Hello. Can I help you? Come on out. Come on out. Who's this? All right, all right. Beauty. Beauty from Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> oh, well. I wasn't expecting anyone. I know this looks uh, a little odd, but there's an explanation. I why did you hide? <laughs> well, I didn't know who it was. You can't be too careful these days. I feel like she did know who it was, though. Yeah. Damn it, I'm late. Please, Bigby. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. He worries too much as it is, and it would just make my life a lot easier. Just please. Um, Promise I'm staying out of it. Whatever it is, it's between you and Beast. I'm staying out of it. I don't have time to go into it right now. Okay. I'll explain it all to you later. I will, but I have to go. I hope you're okay. It's not what you might be thinking. What might I be thinking? Ooh, so much mystery. What's her deal? What's going on there? Why doesn't she want Beast to know where she was? <laughs> Sleeping on the job, nice. I'm very curious about this book of fables, so let's take a look at it really quick before we continue. Ooh, I love this. Oh, so you unlock characters. That's rad. Ooh, they each have their own little description. Bigby Wolf, Fable Town Sheriff. The renowned Big Bad Wolf. He's known for tormenting pigs and girls in red hoods, but is trying to put those dark days behind him. Bigby now acts as Fable Town Sheriff and remains in his human form, mostly. However, due to his rough past, the citizens of Fable Town are slow to trust him. Bigby is determined to show that he's truly changed, but some instincts are just too hard to control. Ooh, he's trying to do better for himself. Good for you, Bigby. The Woodsman. What a jerk. Fallen hero. The woodsman is one of the few men who went toe to toe with Big B in his Black Forest days and lived to tell the tale. In an attempt to save Little Red Riding Hood, he split the great wolf's belly open with his axe, filled him with rocks, and threw the beast into a river. To his dismay, his popularity has faded, even his name is forgotten, and he is only known as the woodsman. I don't think beating on women is going to help people remember you or like you, so you should, uh, fix that. <laughs> uh, Beauty, caring wife. Beauty and her husband Beast once lived in an enchanted castle, but they were forced to flee the homelands in the Exodus, leaving all of their wealth behind. Now they live in a modest studio in Fabletown, New York. Though times are hard with Beast working multiple jobs to pay the bills, the couple have the longest lasting relationship of all the fables. Oh wow. Things have changed for Beauty and the Beast. Yeah, she was very afraid that her husband would find out that she was creeping about, so I'm very curious what's going on there. 
All right, next, Mr. Toad, Slumlord. Should I read this in my Cockney accent? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> That's hilarious. He's a Slumlord. <laughs> oh, slimy Toad. Mr. Toad is the superintendent for a defunct tenement on the edge of Fable Town proper. Because he's a three and a half foot talking amphibian, Toad is required by Fable Town lore to keep his family and himself magically glamoured to appear human. The problem is Toad isn't too concerned with what the law is and has to be reminded often. Huh, so I'm wondering if it was about the money or if he just like doesn't want to spend the money on a glamour or if he just doesn't feel like it. I don't know. Interesting character. Fable Town, home of the fables. Fable Town is a community located on Bullfinch Street in Manhattan's Upper West Side. To regular people, or Mundies, oh, I like that name, it appears to be an ordinary New York neighborhood, but it is really the home of fables from many worlds, and within the business office at the Woodlands lies a massive cavern, a vast library, and hundreds of magical items of immense power. All non-human fables live upstate on the farm, an extension of Fable Town. Okay, so I remember Big B mentioned earlier that if you don't have a glamour on, you get sent to the farm. So if you're not able to appear as human, you can't kick it here, unfortunately. And it's definitely for everyone's safety, for sure. The farm. <sighs> Fable Town Annex. Part of me is glad they didn't call it Animal Farm. <laughs> Ooh, that book creeped me out. The farm is home to fables who cannot pass as human. Giants, goblins, animals, etc. It is located in upstate New York, far enough away from the Mundies to avoid detection. Some of its residents resent their confinement to the farm, despite its size and comforts. To them, the farm is a prison. They would be allowed to leave the farm if they could purchase a glamour, but many don't have the money for something so expensive. Though some, like Colin, sneak out into the city anyway. Oh, sneaky sneaky. Glamour's disguise spell. Glamours are spells that allow the user to change their appearance. They are expensive, but can be purchased by non-human fables in order to pass for human among the Mundies. Cheap glamours can be found in the seedier parts of Fable Town, but they're often unreliable and prone to sudden failure. Ooh, so you gotta have a decent chunk of change to get a good glamour that I would assume lasts longer than a cheap one. Oh, that's tough. What is this? Hey. Money well spent. Money well spent. Oi. Hey. You wink? Hmm. Probably for the best. <laughs> Probably. What is this? Suit of armor. Why can't you need to dust this guy? Ooh, that does, though. <laughs> I know, money well spent on this security guy. I mean, like, who knows how many hours he's been there, too. He's like, nothing happens. I'm going to go to sleep. I got any mail. Ooh, did I get any mail? Let's see. Aw. Less sad. What else can I look at? Woodland Directory. Interesting. All right, I don't see anything else. So let's get in the lift. Boop. Let me in. Ooh, hello. See ya. Don't work too hard. That has to be Beast. Hey, wait up. The eyebrows, though. See my wife? Have you seen Beauty? Yeah, it is him. Staying out of this. I'm staying out of it. Out of what? Whatever it is, Beast. I'm not a marriage counselor. <laughs> Damn it. Something's going on. Hmm. You avoided his question. Brow game is on point, though. <laughs> Ooh, 
this mood lighting though. Loving it. Bigby's apartment. Time to get some shut eye after a long day of kicking the woodsman's ass again. Wash all this blood off my face. <laughs> what a night. I am beat. Refrigerator, freezer. Let's do the freezer first. No ice. We got in the fridge. Puff and that. puff. Should have got a smaller one. <laughs> awesome. Nothing over here. Let's keep going. Bluebeard's file. Never trusted this guy. Ooh, new entry unlocked. Chinese food. I never remember ordering that. Probably a bad sign. <laughs> when there's random food strewn about that you don't remember ordering, it's probably a wild night, you know? Yes. At least this still works. Let's do some of that. Less stuffiness will be ideal. Should help. Let's open me up. Is that a pig asleep on my couch? Who are you, Colin? <laughs> Not again. Who is this? Is this my roommate? Hey, Colin. Colin. Get up. Oh, it's a piggy. Excuse me. Poke, poke. Uh, oh, hey, Big B. Hey, dude. I'm in your chair, huh? Come on, I'm tired. It's been a long day. Oh. Do I have a pig for a roommate? He's le <laughs> He's leaning. Got a smoke? A smoking pig. Here you go, dude. Thanks. A couple thousand more of these will be even on that house you owe me. This has got to stop. You can't keep sneaking off the farm like this. Oh. The fresh air and sunshine pitch they sell you on is bullshit. I didn't escape out of the homelands to end up in some prison, okay? Don't send me back there, Big B. You don't know what it's like, okay? You haven't been there. Tell you what I told Toad. Pain in the ass. I'll <laughs> tell you what I told Toad. And what's that? I can't give you a free pass. Lectured by the big bad wolf. He must have loved that. Okay. That for me? Nope. The house didn't blow itself down, Big B. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> oh, one of the three pigs. Definitely been offered a drink, but uh, it would have helped ease some of the pain you once caused me, yes. It also would have shown everyone how different you are. <laughs> so he's in that fable, too. I just want that some rest. I was saying I'd be able to get some rest. Drinking smoking I take pig. It all back. This is why everyone hates you. Wow. Everyone hates me? <laughs> so, everyone hates me. Nah, I'm just giving you shit. <laughs> best here. It's like Clearly I'm trying. that is not true. What with the selfishness with the bourbon. But, uh... Dang, you got a drinking problem, my guy? It's the wrong word. They fear you more than anything. You ate a lot of people back in your day. 
I thought we were all supposed to have a fresh start here. I am a wolf. You can't change the past. Well, you can't change people's memories either. Look, I'm not saying it's fair, but it's real. People are scared of you. I mean... I mean, look at your hands. He's like, who'd you get in a fight with? A fable, right? I'm sure you're not going around punching Mondays. My job. I was doing my job, believe it or not. Your job is to beat the shit out of fables? Sometimes Ones I Ones that beat women, yes. Fuck you. Wow, I didn't expect the conversation to go that direction. You Dang! Job, you try keeping a bunch of fables from killing each other. How do you think this all works? You're always going to be hated when you're in charge, right? By being big and being bad. By being big and being bad. Don't say that shit in front of people. It's embarrassing. <laughs> Don't say that shit in front of people. <laughs> That's the attitude that gets you in trouble. I'm sure you were shitty to everyone you came across tonight. Mm, not everyone. No, nope, I Name wasn't actually. One. There was a girl. I don't actually know her name. Awesome. Great example. Excuse you, I'm harboring you in my apartment, so... And we live a long fucking time. I know you like this whole lone wolf thing you got going for yourself. But I've seen the way you look at snow, okay? You're not fooling me. Will you shut up? Well, maybe if my throat wasn't so parched, I wouldn't have to keep talking. Wait, that doesn't Just make sense. Just give me a drink, please. Colin, enough already. I haven't slept in two days. I went out a second story window and I want to really get wants a drink. To shut eye before I. Look, if I give you this, will you let me sleep? Yeah, yeah, all right. Probably. I'll just give him the drink. Since I upset him earlier. Oh, he's smiling. Thanks, Bigby. You're welcome. <laughs> Can I sleep now? <sighs> that was an intense conversation. Uh oh. Yes. Big B. Snow. Come with me. Snow White? Hello. Snow. Snow. What? What's up? Sorry, I'm... What is it? What happened? What happened? I just can't get into it this second. We need to hurry to... Hi. Hello. Hello. Good morning. Or Stranger. Evening. <laughs> yeah. Okay. These walls are paper thin. We need to be careful. We'll talk outside. Uh-oh. That ain't good. What the? Interesting. Monday, right? Who was she? I thought 
I knew everyone in Fable Town. She looks familiar. I a working girl. Dang, that's really bad. A working girl? I don't... I mean, I'm a working... Oh. Oh, no. He attacked her and I stepped in. And he threatened to kill us both. No. You don't think he... I don't think anything yet. Just give me a second. It's just... Terrible. Did you see anyone? So, did you see anyone else? No, no one. No cabs, no voices, Mondays? Maybe, but no, I don't think so. I would remember. Okay. Big P, did one of us do this? There hasn't been a murder in Fable Town in a long time. All the more reason we shouldn't start uh -oh. a panic. Before we know what's going on. It's not good. I have a look around. We don't have much time before people will be coming through here. Oh, poor thing. We just met her. All right, let's look at her head. She was placed here with some care. What do you mean? You can see that someone didn't just toss her here. She was deliberately placed for us to find. Hmm, interesting. Why monster would do this. Mouth. What is? What is in her mouth? It's her ribbon. Oh, dang. Kind of symbol here. Huh. I, I don't what? recognize it. Neither do I. Oh. Strange cut. What did this to her? What could do something like that? Either something very sharp or something with magic attached to it. Thing. I'm, I'm sorry. This is just so surreal. Jeez. <sighs> um, what, what do you want to do next? Investigate more. We still have some time. I should keep investigating the area. Okay, good idea. All right, let's take a look around. Hey, it's not. You all right? Yes, thanks. But you should hurry. We don't have much time left. We should head back inside soon. All right, let's look around a bit. Anything back here? Let's go this way. Excuse me, excuse me. Oh, what's this? Bushes. Nobody there. Let's go to the other side. Blood trail. Oof. Blood. Drops of blood. I'd say it's been here an hour, maybe. Ooh, okay. Trash can. Just some loose trash. Fence post. Oh, there's blood on that too. Someone might have hopped the fence, got caught, then left the trail I found earlier. 
blood. Still wet. Dang. Sharp enough. What's this? Scrap of fabric. No Ooh. signs that it's been here. Fabric. Looks like jeans. Doesn't tell me much. Alright. I think that's everything we could find. Let's go back inside, I guess. Where are you going? At least we found something. Yeah, I've seen enough, darling. I've seen enough. But Imagining seeing the head of someone you just met earlier that evening. Jeez. We should thing. move her before anyone shows up. We'll find out more at the business office. She'll be in the books. I'm sure of it. Big P, do you have any idea what's going on? How did this happen? Why her? Someone brought her here. Someone brought her in from the outside. That makes sense. There's no signs of a struggle. But how do you know? Blood trail. Found a trail of blood. I saw it, but what is it? It doesn't mean someone definitely brought it from outside, right? We'll see. Hmm. Well, she's right to be skeptical. We don't know for sure yet. I'm gonna have to tell Crane about this. As long as King Cole is gone, he's acting mayor. He needs to know. Does Crane mean Ichabod Crane from Sleepy Hollow? We may as well get um, just we'll wait a little. If he finds out we held it from him. We should wait until we have more to tell him. Right now, all we know is a girl is dead. Telling Crane doesn't change that. And I've got all the motivation I need to find out who did this. Because he has to suspect everybody right now, so... But I don't know. I'll think about it. I just don't want him interfering. Sounds like a character. I'm sure we'll find out. Crane's not what's important right now. We need to figure out who this girl was so we can mm -hmm. find whoever did this. Agreed. Take this back to Dr. Swinehart. He can take a look at it. I'll meet you at the business office. We also don't know how far he walked from when he met her too, so I'm wondering like where she was in relation to this apartment building when it happened. Oh, the poor thing. Hello? Hello. How's it going? What are you blind? Why you don't see there's a line? I've been standing here a half hour already. You get to just walk in? Must be nice being the sheriff. Do whatever the fuck you like. I work here. You work here. And what great work you do, sheriff. Hmm. That didn't feel very genuine. <laughs> Excuse me. Fucker. Dang. That guy is salty. Yes, I see. I, I, you, because you are the one bringing this to me, Miss Snow. The one who so She told him? Dude. The on our very doorstep. The last thing I need with Mayor Cole away is a hysteria. Do you understand me? Yes, of course I Don't do. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow. You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. Dude, take it down several notches. As soon as I could. You are trusted to keep things running smoothly. Back off. This is a disaster. Back off, Ichabod. It's not her fault. I don't need your help, Bigby. Instead of trying to assign blame, maybe we should figure out how to catch the fucker who did this. Oh, says the yep. man who is most to blame for this catastrophe. How convenient. How? Sheriff, you are the one charged with protecting the citizens of Fabletown. Your failure to do so cost someone their life and the safety of the entire community. I can't be everywhere at once, my something? guy. Are there any leads? Suspects? Anything. We just found you out like two minutes ago. Shred of evidence, you two know what the hell you're doing. Because right now, I have half a mind to fire the both of you. Her pimp? Her pimp. Her... Was she a... Yeah. She was worried about a money situation. Well, I'm just guessing here, I don't know. Wonderful. Not only is a fable killed, but it was a fable hooker to boot. You two need to get a handle She's on this. She's a person, just like all of us. Quietly. 
The last thing we need is all of Fable Town knowing there's a killer amongst us. Snow. Yes? Sir? Call Vivian right this minute and let her know I'm coming in early for my massage. I will. <laughs> massage? Where is the bottle of wine you were to purchase? Don't bother. Forget it. Can't do anything right. Wow. What a great Free boss. Job, Sheriff. Well, we'll find someone who can. Fuck you. You know what? Stop. We'll get on it right away, sir. <laughs> Sorry, I had to tell him. You would have just pissed him off more. I had to say it. All right. Well, that could have gone better. Well, I guess I should have listened to you and waited. Yeah, you should have. I told you so. You don't have to say it. It would have been better to have more to offer. Get our ducks in Yes. Room. Oh, Crane doesn't like people smoking and... Whatever. Never mind. Smoke away. He gets a morning massage. <laughs> Crane. It doesn't really matter the time of day. A mere scent of stress and he's out the door. <laughs> Interesting. Is... is he gone? Who's yes. this? He's a flying monkey. A drunk flying monkey? Buffkin! Buffkin! Hello, Miss Snow. <laughs> Drinking? This early? <laughs> Where did you get that? It was by Mr. Rickabod's desk. What are you doing, little scallywag? Probably belongs to him. Maybe. Is he from the Wizard of Oz? Oh. How are you Hello. today, Mr. Bigby? <laughs> Fuck off. Um, uh, not great. Hasn't been a great morning, Buffkin. Sorry. Eh, not your fault. Thanks for asking, though. Aww. Buffkin, get the books. Which books? The ones with all the fables in it. Mm, not sure that was any more specific. <laughs> the first three. Be back in a few minutes. Oh, there he goes. He knows the ones I'm talking about. There's bound to be information on her here. Somewhere. We'll at least be able to get her real name from the books whenever Buff can find them. In the meantime, poke around. Maybe the mirror. Right. Oh, there's a magic really mirror. Have to this appointment squared away, but let me know if you need anything. All right. What's Hi. this? A lamp? <laughs> Is a genie gonna come out if I rub it? Lamps. After the genie's been freed. True. <laughs> That's probably what I do too. I mean, I what is this mirror? Hello. Is there going to be a giant face in it? Hmm. Can I talk to you? Hey, magic mirror. I got a question. You know the rule. Oh, hello there. For this shit. Your impatience <laughs> is callow. You're needlessly cruel. But have some respect for our history and rules. <sighs> mirror, mirror. Uh, if you're able, tell me all <laughs> about this fable. You gotta speak in rhymes. Was that so hard? Yeah, I'm about two seconds away from kicking a hole in you. <laughs> There's no need for that. Fine. <laughs> of which fable do you wish to know? Um. I don't know her name. No name. Not yet, anyway. Well, until you do, I can't help you. Uh, Buffkin. So, Buffkin. Hey, put <laughs> down the bottle wasted. and get to work. <laughs> Still looking. <laughs> oh, woodsman. Show me the woodsman. Show me the girl. Where is he? What you see is complete. The woodsman stumbles down a street. Still no out. Which Wasted. I'm sorry, Bigby. I can only show you what can't be seen. Uh, Snow. Show me Snow White. Not much <laughs> of a Smiling. Oh. She's in this very room. 
<laughs> um, all right. Nobody right now. Very well. Please return should you wish to ask about someone else or someone new. Okie doke. Thank you, giant face. Look at this guy wasted trying to fly around. He's going to drop those. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. <laughs> well, I'm sure we'll get it all cleared up. Okay. Thank you. Hard to get good stuff these days. All right, let's look around some more. What else can we investigate? I'm gonna go through Ichabod's desk. <laughs> Anything else? Pick this up. What is this? Book of symbols. Oh, there were symbols on the ring we found. Maybe that'll tell us something. Are the ring symbols going to be in here? Oh, there it is. There it is. Ah, uh, great. What? I can't read any of this shit. Oh, no. Yeah, thanks. Oh. We look out for each other. Don't overdo it. This is the one. Where's this symbol from? Which family or story? That's an odd one. Family name? Alelairo? I'll go look it up. Alelairo. That means every kind of fur in German. Every kind of fur. Skin. Yes. What does it say? Donkey skin? Donkey skin girl. Also known as donkey skin. Also known as... Askin. <laughs> first to go by the name Faith. Poetic? Buffkin. <laughs> the story of Donkey Skin. There was once a great king with a beautiful queen. The queen grew ill and had her husband promise to only marry the most beautiful girl in the kingdom. Okay. After a long search, it became clear that the only woman in the land that could match her beauty was... Uh, his daughter, Faith. <gasps> Oh, no. She had a magic cloak made from the skin of her father's prized donkey that would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. Eventually, oh. she the prince who could see past the magic cloak and knew her true beauty. And they lived happily ever after. Dang, okay. Should I mark it, Miss Snow? That yes. got dark. Please. No, thank you. Oh, poor thing. What's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. We got what we came for. Yeah. Her name's Faith. She was married to Prince Lawrence. I mean, that's more than her we... name was Faith. Yeah. We should talk to the husband. You think he did it? Um, we have to notify him. I don't. But we need to let him know about his wife. Poor guy. Ooh, what's this? Book of Fables. Any information on fables in our community will be somewhere in these books. We already know her name, but feel free to have a look if you like. Ooh, wow, there's a lot of people in here. Yeah, dwarves. The less said about that, the better. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's me. Back when. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's me. Long time ago. There's Big B. Haven't seen him in a while. Well, that's how you looked when we met, remember? Yeah. <laughs> there's Woodsy. The woodsman? Yep. And his axe. Those dwarves definitely look like they're gonna like eat you in your sleep. It's kind of terrifying. Little Red Riding Hood. I wonder what the story was. Hmm. Oh god. I didn't see him for a sec, so I thought she was just holding her husband's head in the air. It's like that's that's a thing. Happier days. Aww. It's that guy. And 
or man or beast. Funny. Piggies. Colin and his brothers. I wonder what his brothers' names are. Yeah, that's her, all right. Huh. Oh, my God. Donkey skin. Huh. <gasps> Is this Mr. Toad and Badger? Badger? He likes his oh. privacy. I wish Toad would like his a bit more. <laughs> There's Mr. Toad from Wind in the Willows. Fun fact, I did that play when I was like seven. <laughs> Ichabod Crane. Scared shitless. What's nice. that? I've also done the play Sleepy Hollow. Finest moment. <laughs> Hard to understand how he ended up running this place. Well, maybe it's time that changed. All right, I think that's everything. Let's look in all the nooks and crannies. Yup. All right. That's everything. Alright, I'm gonna keep skulking around here. What's this? Tarot deck! Yes! Tarot Let's cards. Go. Jack brought them back from Appalachia. Who knows where they were before then? Or what he did to get them. We can do a tarot reading right now? Let's go. Shots. Yes, it comes in all forms. Okay. I think that's more of an oracle deck than a tarot deck. Interesting. Okay, now I can ask the mirror for more info. Tell me stuff. Mirror, mirror, blah, blah, able, blah, 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 about this thing. <laughs> of which fable do you wish to know? Faith. Show me... show me faith. Through powerful magic her whereabouts concealed. Unfortunately huh. for you, these lips are sealed. What? These lips are sealed. It's not it's the same thing she said. It's simply the way this has to be. Interesting. Faith's father? Show me Faith's father. The old king. Okay. He dead. That crosses him off the suspect list. Unless he's an evil murdering Skellington. Prince Lawrence. The prince, I think. Show me Prince Lawrence. Oh What's no. He doing? Where is those bands? <laughs> where is what? Do you know where Prince Lawrence lives? If he's a prince, probably relocated uh -oh. in the South Bronx. Yellow building, red window shutters. Red frames. Yep, that's the one. I can take us there. He's got a bloody dagger next to him. That's ominous. All right, thank you. Anything we can use? Yeah, that'll have to do for now. Come on, we're going All over right. there. Let's go. Later, Tater. Oh, oh. Sorry, I have to get that. Okay. Hello, Woodland's business office. Yes, I... He is. Hold on. Bigby, it's for you. What? Bigby, it's me, Toad. You Hello. there? Um, the car. Sorry about the car. Yeah, 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 it's fine. Bigby, shit. Listen, right, there's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. Get uh -oh. out of here, Bigby, before he... Oh, wait, hang on. Boy, shit. Hey! Uh-oh. Hard to say. Something going on over at Toad's place. What about Faith's husband? I don't know. I couldn't really tell. But he could be in trouble. And we should go there anyway to search her apartment. <sighs> so Toad many things to do. Aw, oh, poor Toad. He when might get attacked. Alright, toodaloo. Bye, little monkey friend. Don't get too drunk, please. You're very tiny. You can't handle that much alcohol. Bye. <laughs> we left him unsupervised with that bottle of wine, by the way. <laughs> was, there? was it the woodsman? I don't know. It's possible. I feel like he would have said if it was. It didn't seem like Toad was happy to see him. Well, maybe Prince Lawrence can wait. Yeah, he didn't see him. He could use some help, too. 
Well, where to first? Bigby, shit. Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman things. You think he did it? What's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. Ooh, all right. I'm not sure what's going on with Lawrence. He looks like he could be dead. I couldn't really tell. But Toad's in more like immediate danger, so I'm tempted to to go there first and help him. Yeah, Toad needs our help like now, so let's go help him first. Toad sounds like he needs glass help, right? <laughs> glass slippers shoes. Okay, I'm not looking forward to breaking the news to him anyway. Oh, I hope Toad's gonna be all right. Yeah, I couldn't really and tell from the mirror if the prince was alive or not. On Toad's car. You guys made a real mess. Yeah. Damn, Looks this place worse. is worse in the daylight. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, the poor car. Is somebody up there? Hey, Woody, hey. what are you doing? Wait. Ooh. Oh, let's go. Oh, we missed him. Hey. Damn, was that hole already there or did they do that? That's a giant wall. Hey, sorry. That's enough, all right? Just shut it! <laughs> what kind Why of asshole? little boy crying? Oh no, this is from We Scrapped with Woods <laughs> with Woodsy, the giant hole in the wall. Should probably get that fixed. Yeah, poor sink. Helen doesn't make this much of a mess. Uh oh. What else can we look at? No oh, what's this? Woodsman never did much reading anyway. <laughs> So I smashed him into a bookshelf. Ooh. All right, let's go find out what's wrong with Mr. Toad. Oh. Why are you crying? Oh, what's wrong? I'm gonna look around here. Anything? Nope. Alright. Um, don't cry. Is that his son? Toads, I think. Be nice in there, okay? I'll try. Let's knock. Oh, I thought that was gonna knock. <laughs> Big B! Oh. It's white! Surely you didn't come all this way just for my bother. You called me. Sorry, Big V. It's embarrassing to have to admit, but uh, I thought there was someone else in Woody's place. There wasn't, though. No. Uh, not when I checked. Nothing but a leaky drain pipe. Imagination must have got the best of me. I saw someone in there. You know, false alarm. Sorry, I saw someone. Miss White into this. There was someone, but they took off when we got here. Is that right? I guess your dad's ears have a year or two left. Haven't gone totally <laughs> to the dogs, eh? Oh, what's wrong, Are little boo? Right? He's fine, Miss White. Just stung his little toe. Better swimmer than Walker, just like his dad. Wanna? So, I guess you'll be taking off now. No need to hang around here anymore. No, 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 no. I'm sorry you came all the way here for nothing. I'm gonna look around. Was here, and something's going on. Just so this trip wasn't a complete waste of time, I'm gonna look around a bit before we leave, okay? Yes, I am. The longer you talk, the longer this takes. So just stand over there and shut up. All right, all right. I just don't want to waste your time, is all. Uh, have a seat. 
Have a cup of tea, whatever you like. I'll take a cup of Rosie Lee. Cheers. Oh, nice. Am I right? Oh. Uh. Hey, you know what? Flycatcher said you had a pretty awesome insect collection. I'd really love to see it. Is it in your room? Oh, being so nice to him. It has a weevil. Cool. Oh, he looks happier now. Good job, Snow. Just oh, he looks worried. Nothing nothing. Yeah, sure thing. The more you talk, the more defensive you sound, which just makes me more suspicious that something's going on. Let's get this over with. How'd this happen? Fucking hell. Damn thing must have fell off the table. Uh-huh. The lamp just fell off the table. Or the boy was faffing about, playing sods and swordfish. Who knows with the lad? Oh, shit, I just noticed that, even though I've been looking at it this whole time. <laughs> mm. What's in here? Though most people think they are. Uh-huh. Oh. How's it going? No hiding something, but I don't know what yet. Did the kid say anything? No, nothing really. He was really upset, though, earlier. He won't say why. Something's going His dad on. Dad told him not to say anything. Till I figure out what. Take a look here. Oh, there's blood on the wall. Dear, oh dear. It's bleeding. <laughs> Why is that it's blood? Still fresh. Oh, well, I cut me end. Ran around like a tit trying to pick out a wrap. <laughs> Must have got some unfurnishments. Lamp in pieces, blood on the wall. It's awful, I know. Sounds painful. Oi, don't you go mother ending now. The wound didn't sit very long, you know. Perks of being a fable, I suppose. <laughs> and a frog. You might as well just tell me I'm going to find out. Whoa, fire poker covered in blood. Okay. There's more blood over here. On the poker? Yeah. What happened? Oh, well, that's... That's how it happened, didn't it? Oh, I was... I was poking the coals and it slipped a bit. Sliced up <laughs> in my foot like a seashell. But like a There's shit. no out. cuts on his feet. If you're gonna say something, out with it. I thought you cut your hand. Ah, shit. It's I didn't press it in time. It's all, you ponderous wanker. We're not playing ten little Indians here. It's a simple accident. Oh, how'd he talk his way out of it? I didn't press in time. Dang. Oh, my God. Will you not make a big faff out of this? There's nothing to solve here, Sheriff. I'm telling you everything that happened. Why don't you believe me? I mean... I think you're hiding something. I think maybe you're hiding something. Hiding something? Maybe. But, uh, to tell you the truth, I don't know yet. But I know you're lying about something. But I'm not... And you're just gonna make it worse for yourself the longer you keep up the act. I'm not bullshitting you. Honest. We'll see. He looks guilty as hell. If I'm being perfectly honest. Let's take a look here. Let's open this window up a bit. Hmm. Oh, there's marks there. Someone went out the window. Blood, you know what happened? I no, there's marks here on the window sill. So. What's that about? No real reason. Just last night when I'd come out, I was in a, a downright dizzy, mate, as you would be. And <laughs> I plum forgot the keys to this place. And I had to climb He has an excuse for everything. Really? Scared Junior off to death. Hmm. 
All right, mate. I know you're hiding something. I'm going to figure out what it is. What's this? Dust ring. There's a mark over here, too. What do you mean? There's a clean space in the dust over here. Ah, oh, maybe one of Junior's toys or something? I mean, who knows? I think that was the lamp that got smashed. Okay, Sheriff. Now what? The broken lamp was here. It used to be here, right? Just tell me what happened. Nothing happened, mate. Nothing! And why did the lamp have to be there? Of all the blooming pointless inquiries. It's my own place. Don't you think I'll know what happens in it? The mark because in the dust. The lamp was always over here, Toad. It was over here, and now it's there. The space in the dust is from where you well, moved I it. did some refiguring. Who fucking cares? Bloody hell, mate. Come on. Get off with this. Get off. Alright. Need to have words. I think my junior has a crush on your girl. Come clean, Toad. You want me out of here? I want out of here. Just come clean. What's going on? Place needs to be moment, that's all. I know you're lying. I know you're lying about the lamp. The lamp fell is all. I bumped it. Come Dude, in. Dude, come, come on. In. The, the, the thing. The lamp could not possibly have fallen, Toad. You had it plugged in over here the whole time. Someone ripped the lamp out of the wall and yep. threw the thing. That's what happened, isn't it? Let's look around one more time. I just want to make sure there's nothing I've missed. Busted latch. And why is the lock busted? Ooh. The lock. It looks like somebody kicked, kicked the, door the door in. Bottle of dust to the broken lock. What are you getting at, mate? Oh, for Christ's sake, a fucking lock's been busted for weeks, mate. Right, it's just like everything else in this bloody building. Bloody hell, Bigby. What sinister bit have you uncovered this time? I left the tap water running. Didn't then why climb the in the window? What's the point of all this, mate? Really? Why'd you climb in through the window then? Huh? Why'd you climb Ooh, in through the window? Ooh, caught you in another lie. So, the lock's been rotten for weeks. You wouldn't have needed a key to get in. Fucking hell. Just what are you on about, mate? After the state I was in, I didn't have me head. That's all it was. I forgot a fucking handle was fucking busted. And I'll tell you what else. It's embarrassing. You're bringing all this shit up, all right? How so is it embarrassing? There's a poker covered in blood in your house. Come on, I'm begging for mercy over here, old boy. Nope. I was looking forward to a nice afternoon. Just me and me son, and you've taken up enough of a day with all this... this sniffing around at me private belongings. I'm sorry I called. Really, I am. But will you please, please just bugger off? Not yet. Not yet, you say to my face that you think I'm hiding something from you. I already did. For a fair bit of time now. Nothing's here. So when? When are you gonna leave? I mean, I feel like I'm on trial here. In my own bloody home. It's when you not tell me the truth. Seemly. When? When you start telling me the truth, Toad. Well, I've told you the truth, mate. Jesus Christ, what more do you want? You lied, Toad. These stories have made no sense. You didn't forget your keys. You didn't bump the lamp off the table. You want to tell me what's going on? She doesn't think much of me, I don't think. Oh, I wouldn't no. necessarily say that. This little kid lit so Progress. cute. Oh! Mr. Toad, you're bleeding. He is bleeding. Take off the hat. Ow. It was that butcher, a, a Tweedle, Dumb or D. You gotta strip them down to their Johnnies before you can tell which is which. They come bulging in, screaming about something the woodsman had. Or thought he had, I don't know. He tore up the place, beat me up when I said I didn't have it. I tried to go out the window, but he pulled me back in. What was he looking for? I could tell you that. What was he looking for? I have no idea. Wonder if he threatened his kid or something. I to, really, I did. 
but he said if word of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, or Miss White, he'd come yeah. back and kill my boy. Oh. I even tried to give the bastard a coat. He wouldn't take it. Whose coat? The girl. Dad borrows things from people who live here. <laughs> uh, sometimes. Borrow. Oh, kid ratted you out. Turn around here would astonish you, mate. We we'll merely repossess what's been left behind. Well, we'll be taking the coat now. If she has <laughs> next of kin, family, anyone. All mm. right. Fetch him the fur. Fine bit of dress it is. Not for you. It's in the fireplace. <laughs> oh. No, I wouldn't wear it outside. There's our dad's Wait. prized donkey. What is that? It's an envelope. Fucking hell, of course there is. <laughs> My luck, it's a map to some bloody doubloons. It's addressed to Prince Lawrence. Do you oh. want to try and give it to him, or...? Ooh, uh... Um... I get a dilemma. It belongs to Lawrence. Doesn't seem right opening another man's mail. Let's try and give it to him. Okay. Well, it's been quite a surprising day for all of us, hasn't it? I'd see you out, but I'm afraid of dripping any more blood in the place. Oh. Oh, we finally got that out of him. Jeez. He could have just told nice me in the first place. PJ. Thanks. Oh. Uh, see ya. Precious little bean. Oh. Jeez. What? Does it always go that smoothly? <laughs> Not often. God, that was a so the prince's now pain. Lawrence's, yeah, it's our best lead. Our <laughs> only lead, really. When you put it that way. Basically. Oh, Toad. Why'd you have to make it so hard for yourself, mate? You've been up all night. I don't want to stay here. I don't here know how much sleep we got. Not very so much. Let's just pick an approach and stick to it, okay? All right. Just humor me. Uh, I need to question Lawrence. Let's just oh, keep God, our focus on again. questioning Lawrence. I pressed it, but Where nothing was, happened. I think I was with that sort of thing. Just got to the cutoff. All right. Snow White, assistant to the deputy mayor. Snow White may seem cold, but this stems from her life of mistreatment and abuse back in the homelands. After escaping assault and imprisonment, not to mention an attempt on her life, she married Prince Charming. It wasn't long before Snow discovered that Charming cheated on her with her estranged sister, Rose Red. Ooh, and she divorced him. After the exodus, Snow focused her attention on setting up a safe haven for Fables in the New World. She now serves as assistant to the deputy mayor of Fable Town. Wow! <laughs> Poor Snow White. Seems like she's trying to make a difference, though. That's good. Faith, donkey skin girl. <laughs> God. Faith, otherwise known as the donkey skin girl, made it through the exodus from the magical homelands with the clothes on her back her husband, and nothing else. She was once a beautiful princess, happily married to Prince Lawrence of a neighbouring kingdom. Her life should have been a happy ending, but the mundane city of New York wasn't kind to her or her marriage. With no money, Faith found herself turning tricks to make the rent for a cheap apartment on the outskirts of Fable Town. She had a difficult life, but she did what she could do to survive in an unfamiliar world. Oh, rip. Poor thing. Excuse you, imp. Imp's cleaning her belly and she has her leg in the air. That is one floofy leg. Beast, concerned husband with some fleek eyebrows. <laughs> Beast and his wife Beauty left everything behind when they escaped the homelands in the Exodus. 
Without his former wealth, Beast must pick up extra work to make ends meet. He is able to get around Fable Town without a glamour most of the time, but if Beauty gets too angry with him, he becomes more beastly by the minute, growing horns and large teeth. Despite the occasional bickering, the two are truly in love and have the longest lasting relationship of anyone in Fable Town. Hmm. Colin, couch surfer. Colin is better known as one of the three little pigs. Back in the homelands, they were harassed by the big bad wolf who blew down Colin's house of straw. After the exodus, Colin and the other fables who couldn't pass for human were sent to live at the farm in upstate New York. Unable to stand such a boring life, Colin constantly makes trips down to Fable Town to bother Big B. He is always cool and sent back to the farm, but he doesn't let that stop him. He's a tenacious guy. I appreciate that. And then there's this guy. We... Ichabod Crane, Deputy Mayor of Fable Town. Hailing from the haunted town of Sleepy Hollow, Ichabod Crane has been Deputy Mayor of Fable Town for nearly 115 years. What? Crane has a bundle of nerves and takes his job very seriously. Though that doesn't mean he always does it well. As one of Fable Town's elite, Crane is often blind to the troubles of the less well-off citizens. Overall, Crane is authoritarian, cowardly, and always hiding something. Yep. That is definitely the impression I got from that guy. Buffkin, Fable Town Librarian. With a drinking problem. <laughs> Buffkin is the talking winged monkey from the land of Oz. Now as Fable Town's librarian, he spends his time reading and stealing the deputy mayor's booze. He's prone to mischief, so when something goes wrong, he assumes he'll receive the lion's share of the blame. He's helpful when he wants to be, but most of the time he'd rather be drinking. Someone would have fired him long ago, but he's the only one who can make sense of the filing system. Ah, okay, so he's very useful. Mundies, non-fables. So this is this world's version of muggles, right? <laughs> Short for mundane, Mundi is a catch-all term that fables use to refer to non-magical inhabitants of their adopted home. Warding spells placed around the blocks of Fable Town and the farm keep their minds distracted and dull within certain boundaries. However, if anything should pique the curiosity or scrutiny of a large group of Mundis, these magical protection charms would overload and fail. As Sheriff of Fable Town, one of Bigby's primary functions is ensuring the Fable Town community maintains a low profile. Okay, so we're hidden in plain sight amongst the Mundies. Bluebeard, wealthy scoundrel. So we have a picture of him, but we haven't met him yet. Bluebeard managed to escape the homelands with his riches intact and continues to be one of the wealthiest fables in New York. The Fable Town government depends on his generous contributions, and he often uses his influence for his own benefit. As a former serial killer, he claims his days of decapitating his brides are over, but even if he was able to leave his violent ways in the homeland, that hasn't stopped him from making the occasional trip down Crooked Lane. Okay, so he's the only one so far who has a history of murdering people, so I am very sus of that guy, but you never know. We'll see. Hello? Ooh. What's the deal with this window? Excuse me, darling. Oh, snap. He went from being on the couch to being on the floor. That is not a good sign. Actually, can I? I can say something through the window. Are you alive? <laughs> can you hear me? Try again. Are you okay? I'm guessing that's a no, but we'll try again. Hey, answer me. Uh. Alright, let's go in. Face the music. I'm gonna knock anyway. <laughs> uh, let's look at the door. Oh, it's been opened. Ooh, what? Well, just peep into someone's house, check if he's home. That's... Can you hear me? 
Are you okay? All right, I've asked many times now. I think we can just go in. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh. Dang, it looks like he's been dead for a while. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Ooh. Stay with me, hey, man. Hey. Stay with me, Lord. He's alive. No, right. no. Let me go. <gasps> oh, oof. What is it that you're telling us? <gasps> Bigby, water. Kitchen. Oh my god. There's a note. Pay the rent next week. Pizza in the fridge. Please don't look for me. Goodbye. Did you find it yet? Oh. Yep. I found a tap. <laughs> Alright, mate. Let's get you a drink. God, he's still alive. How long has he been like that? If you have something to ask him, you should do it now. What happened? What happened? I don't think he can talk very much. Oh no. Oh, damn. That's two now. Do you still have that letter? Yes. Should I open it? I mean, at this point. I'm not sure if it's right. It's your decision. It's your decision. Do what you think is right. I need to know. Yeah, what I'd probably say? open it as well. I'm sorry. sorry. Faith. <sighs> it's only two words, but he died without seeing them. I'm sorry too. We need to figure out what happened here. Dang, rip. Find whoever did this. Hmm. More mail. Ooh, there's a lot of stuff to look at. Let's see. Bullet hole. Bullet passed through the chair. Dang. Angle works if he shot himself. Did he, do we think? It's blood on the ground. Wow. Strange. Hard edge to this pool, like something was here and got moved. Hmm. Okay. Still a little sticky. Ew. <laughs> oh, what's up with this panel? Pull out bed. <sighs> Let's take a look. There's another note. What is that? 
Oh. That a little. It's a note he was leaving behind for Faith. My dearest Faith, I never meant to hurt you, and I cannot endure knowing that I have. This was for the best. I'll oh, see no. Hopefully they're together now. It's so sad. I don't know what we can hope for at this point. There's a picture of the two of them. He's having trouble going around that chair. Why do you think that was taken? Before all this. <sighs> all right. Oh, I have to go around now. <laughs> Yeah, this is the thing I'm most curious about. What is this all about? The mirror showed me this. Maybe I should have come here first. It's sharp, and there's blood on the blade. I just don't understand. I wonder if we could have saved him. Want to kill him. So I'm guessing he was going to end his life and then someone got to him first. I can't really tell. <laughs> what is it? This gun wasn't fired recently. Maybe a week ago. Oh my god, has he been there for a week? <gasps> oh no! Fingerprints? They'll be on the grip and the trigger. There's a shell casting on the floor. Yoink. Matches the caliber of the gun on the floor. So I, oh my god, so did he shoot himself and then bleed out for a week? Jeez. What are they? Prescription sleeping pills. Oh good, those help. Hopefully they at least helped him sleep a little bit. Alright. I think that's oh, there's a bookcase. Second hand paperbacks. Old encyclopedias. Dusty. No one's read these in a while. Oh, what's in here? <gasps> Stay here! Oh my god! No! Oh! Ooh, it's time for a chase. Hey! Stop! Get over here! Leave me alone! Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Yep, there he is. Almost gave you the slip. Ooh! Ooh! <laughs> ow! Oh, 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 ow! Ow, ow, ow. He's upstairs. Hey. Got a lot of explaining to do. We're on the same side here. You son of a bitch. Why did you run? Make me run after you. Why <laughs> did you run? That was intense. What? Why did you run? What? You were just running Fuck from me. Man. 
Because you chased after me. The fuck was I supposed to do? A man's dead. I know how it looks, but I had nothing to do with that. You're covered in blood. You're covered in blood. Look, I was just asking him about the girl. That's all. Asking when I him? Her being dead, he freaked out. I figured oh, someone had told him. Oh, he knew. How was I supposed to know? Shit. Fucker shot himself right in front of me. <gasps> Stop him, man. Oh, no. You're looking for the woodsman, right? I know where he is. My guy says he's holed up at the trip trap. We can go over there right now, the both of us. My employer's looking to ask him a few questions too. Who's your boss? Your employer. I can't tell you that. It's confidential. Sorry. Sure you understand. No. Nope. I don't. Can't say that I do. Come on. You're coming with me. This could have been easy. Uh, don't worry. It still is. Uh oh. Come on. What does dumb. that mean? Dumb? Yeah, it is. Look, it'd be much easier for you no, to. No, I'm D. He's dumb. Tweedledee and Tweedledum. <gasps> Ooh, ow. <laughs> you almost ow. looked peaceful. Hello. How long was I out? <laughs> yep. Except you're lying in a dirty alley. Yep. Yeah, it happens. With an open wound on the back of your head. Yep. Where did they go? Where'd they go? Well, after the one guy hit you and the other one finished kicking you. Ow, my ribs, my ribs and my spleen. Then they jumped into a car and drove off. Goody. Come on, get up. Guess we're out of options. D mentioned the trip trap. Then that's where we'll go. I'll call a cab. Trip trap. Great name. Every time I think I'm getting a handle on what's going on, things just get more complicated. It feels like we're always a step behind. I mean, right now, yeah. Woodsman is the only <laughs> lead we've got, and he was one of the last people to see Faith alive. Getting some answers out of him will start to clear things up. I hope you're right. Bigby? He might just fight you again. <laughs> Who do you think did this? I know it's still early, but I just feel a step behind. Probably Bluebeard is my guess. We haven't talked to him yet, but... Uh, Tell me. I don't think anything would surprise me at this point. I feel like Bluebeard has something to do with this. I mean, he's the only one who's a serial killer so far. I don't know how or why just yet, but if you're asking, this is his M.O. There's still a lot of questions. Sounds like a serial killer. A woodsman. Figure out what he knows, then go from there. And there's already two of them dead. Makes sense. That's probably the best approach. I'm glad we agree. Love this art style. Um, thanks for your help. Thanks I for wish you. there was. <laughs> I think he likes her just a little bit. Go ahead. Go ahead. I didn't mean to cut you off. No, it's... Aww. It's nothing. I just... Tell me. Seeing all this today, there are fables that are struggling worse than I'd imagined. It's pretty bad. We pay so much attention to the residents of the woodlands. You forget there's a whole community out there to serve. To have to turn to... Prostitution. I... I wish there was more we could do. This isn't how I thought it would be. But Crane runs things his own way. You're doing your best. It's all anyone can do. Obviously you don't know what I do all day. Right now, I'm the gatekeeper. Making sure none of these disenfranchised folks are... As he puts it, wasting his time. He's lovely. Fix it. Lovely guy.
Snow appreciated that. Oh, It's just a broken system. The fables who walk in through the back door like Bluebeard, we have all the time in the world for them. You try and come in through the front door, through the proper channels, asking for anything, needing help. Yep. I turn you away. Sounds about right, unfortunately. Yeah, things are worse off than they've ever been. Well, that's not true. Right. We've had it worse, but not by much. Maybe this isn't for me. I thought public service was pure. A maybe you could leave. You should get out of there. If it's as bad as you say it is, maybe there are better ways to get things done outside of the system. I like that advice. It's something I have to consider. Never took you for a quitter. We're not talking about me. <laughs> Ooh, we're going to the trip trap. Yeah, maybe you should handle this one. Ooh, that guy's suit. <laughs> yeah, maybe I should. Yeah. Three apples taxi. <laughs> Bigby. Yes. I... Uh, just be careful. Please. Okay. I'll try. You too. The same goes for you. I will. Aw. That was a nice conversation. She's seeing a bit more of his soft sweet side, you know. It's CD bar time. The trip trap bar, the Bronx. Gonna have to walk in tough to this place. The sheriff's here. Let me just adjust my tie real quick. <laughs> All that wallpaper is offensive to my eyes. Hello. What do you want, Sheriff? Woodsman. I'm looking for the woodsman. Well, he's not here. So I guess you can go now. Look, I'm not even going to ask where he is now, okay? I just want to know the last time he was here. That's all. Who? I'm being nice, so try again. He Trying to be nice here. here. Few weeks. Why are you looking at him? Maybe. I don't know. But yeah, he hasn't been here in a while. If That's he's been vague. Here, what? I don't. You said know. maybe, and then I don't know. What are you talking about? You're your own woman. Don't let him tell you what to do. You're your own woman. Yeah, that's right. Well, Tell her, Big this B. This is me talking, Big B. Fuck off. Ooh. Okay. Dang. Well, that went well. Who's this? Come What's on. What's up, dude? Have you seen the woodsman around? I don't know who that is. Big guy, beard, flannel, kind of a shitbag. <laughs> mess. Kind of a shitbag. Sure you don't know. Would a drink help you remember? How about I buy you a drink? How about you keep your drink and piss off? Alright, I tried. Pickled eggs. Yummy! Let I don't think I've ever had a pickled egg before. They're pickled eggs. Oh, I know what they are. I'm just trying to figure out why anyone would eat this. Some pickled stuff can be tasty. I don't know about pickled eggs, I've never had one. Cigarette machine! Huff and puff cigarettes. Oh, that's what he had in his refrigerator. <laughs> Just cartons of cigs. All right. I'm going to buy some cigarettes while I'm here. Damn. Oh, I don't have any money. No. All right. Can I look at anything else? Half empty glass. There was a person sitting here. Someone who left. Why didn't you dump it? Why didn't you dump it? If you want a cleaner place, 
feel free to get the fuck out of here. And who are you exactly? Sunshine? I'm a very hostile tone from you. Don't deny it. <laughs> I'm good at picking up on this. I'm good at picking up on that very hostile tone you just used. Matchbook. A lot of these walk out the door? Yeah, it's called advertising. <laughs> you get a refund? Fuck you. A word's getting out. Can I go in the back? Ooh. Is that his picture? Oh, he's a regular for sure. So, uh, what's the deal with that, huh? He a regular? Mm-hmm. I don't know who you're talking about. The one with the, the people they put on the walls. Here. Never seen him. Okay. Almost missed that one, too. It was really high up. Ooh. WD. Nah. Think you're lying. A lot of stools in this place. Got a problem? You got a problem, friend? I don't like you. And now you're sitting right next to me. Well, clearly you don't. You could ask me to move. You're gonna order something? Or are you just here to bother my customers? You know what I mean. Give me a Midas gold. You want a lime? Sure. Sure. I think they have some at the bar down the street. <laughs> Lovely. Think that's funny? Yep. Think it's fucking hilarious. It was all right. Help Come me on. help you. I don't want to be here. You don't want me here. The sooner you answer my questions, the sooner I'll be out of your... Oh, and who is that? Restroom is for regulars and employees only. Tough shit. Ali, you're Look who it is. Now. Got you. Saved your beer. Saved your beer for you. Holly wanted to clear it, but uh, I said no. He'll be back. Now here you are. So many people lying. Jeez. You and me have been going at it for hundreds of years. <laughs> hundreds of years. That makes two of us. That makes two of us. You're in luck. I decided to switch seats. <laughs> it's been a long day. Look, Please don't. It's been a long fucking day, and I'm starting to get a little cranky. <laughs> little cranky. Got questions, and I'm not leaving without answers. Maybe he don't want to talk to you. Why don't we let him tell me that? Do you speak for everyone in this bar? What's your deal? Let's have words, you and I. It's funny. Just a minute ago, no one seemed to know who you were. Yeah, well... Now everyone knows your name. Knows you. <laughs> Big bad wolf. No, oh, I'm the bad guy and you're a sheriff. What kind of fucking world is that, huh? You play the hand you're dealt. I'm not exactly comfortable with it either, but 
Hey, you play the hand you're dealt. Well, some folks are forced to play with shit. That's a lovely image. <laughs> lovely. About the girl. Amongst other things, sure. Wow, he just came right out and said it. Walked past her place for weeks. She didn't look like it. She had money. I was sure of it. She wouldn't put up any kind of fight. Ew. <laughs> I was gonna rob her. And the night I finally get up the nerve to do it, there you are. You're welcome. Things up for me. You were just in the wrong place at the wrong time. What are you talking what are you about? Talking about exactly. Elaborate. Red Riding Hood. Her grandmother. I was there to rob him. Oh snap! We were already there. <laughs> I think he's just gotten in his way all the time. She might give me a reward, but she didn't give me shit. Except a bunch of people thinking I'm something I ain't. I played along as long as I could. Only thing I managed. I already to know this story. Just gonna keep the conversation going. And see if he fesses up. How good that did. I already know this story, Woody. You should. You were there. I'm not talking about Red Riding Hood. I'm here about Faith. She was murdered. What? Faith? Who's that? The girl you were beaten on this morning. No, 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 no. I, I was here. I swear. It doesn't look good when a girl you were just smacking around shows up dead hours later. Yeah, not very promising for you. <laughs> Even she's worried. She's like, say what now? Listen, I, I'm a piece of shit, okay? I know that. I hit that girl. I did. I, I shouldn't have, but I didn't kill her. You believe me, right? They're gonna string me up, Bigby. Like you said, it looks fucking bad. It looks really bad. I don't know I if it was him. It. He was here. That's the fucking truth, Sheriff. You see? Bigby, please. You can't. They'll throw me down the witching well. That's the what they'll witching do. well. And I didn't do it. You know that. I don't know anything, but... Hey, stop! This isn't what I want. Oh, shut the fuck up, Woody! Shit ain't just about you. It's about this fucking lapdog. And they come sniffing around this part of town when the rich fucks in the woodlands need a shakedown. Ain't that right, Big B? Lapdog, really? Really? Holly's sister goes missing. No one gives two shits about her. Oh. Hey, waiting rooms and that bitch Snow White looking right past me. Then oh, usher oh, me out. Don't call her that. I wouldn't call her that. It's happened before and it doesn't end well. I didn't realize you were the bitch of the bitch. Hit him. <laughs> Smack. That all you got? Nope. Seem to be enough. Don't be so sure. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Oh, good. What? Oh, that's terrifying. What the hell? Walked out of here when you had the chance. Come on, you're scaring the lady. Don't worry about me. What is that? Whoa! Oh, she's like an ogre! That's so cool! Ow, 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 ow. Whoa! That's so rad looking! Looks like Oogie Boogie from Nightmare Before Christmas, but he's not. Oh, I almost missed that one. Smack. <laughs> Get in. Oof. Ouch. Ow. 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 My everything. Uh oh. This beastie. <gasps> oh no! Here he comes. 
The wolf's coming out. <gasps> Look at those teeths. Ooh. Rawr. Ooh. Ow. Ow, 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 ow. Ooh, those claws. Ooh. Brutal. He likes busting kneecaps. <laughs> Tear off his arm. I'm the lapdog, huh? Here, fetch. You fucking monster! Oops. <laughs> He'll grow back. Whiskey. Oops. Double. Damn, he's ferocious. The bottle's tiny compared to her hand now. <laughs> I don't know if that was the right decision, but I did it, so it's too late now. Pay for the drink. Shit. It's not like you were gonna pay for it anyway. I was. Don't even think about it. Is this the type of treatment I can expect if I let you take me in? Not exactly. No. no. If you come quietly, you'll be treated with respect. But if it turns out that you killed that girl, well, you know what that means. <sighs> I got a hundred bucks for the first bloke that can tell me something about a girl name. <laughs> Fuck. Oops. <laughs> They're all terrified of him now. Oh, 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 oh. I go to the woodsman or dumb? Um, let's do the woodsman. Ah, you said you wouldn't hurt me. You said you wouldn't run. Shit. I feel like I might regret that though. I we'll see. Blood and you let him go? No one has. I should have gotten him. I think. Come on, you're under arrest. I didn't do it. And you got nothing to worry. Dang. <laughs> Do anything stupid and I'll throw you down the witching well myself. All right. Ooh, let's get some breakfast. Oh, what's going on now? Some regular people cops. Uh-oh. That uh-oh. Oh no. Oh, that guy's puking. That's a great sign. Did 
Did they not move the head? We had something very special. Oh my god, that's so well, sad. The girl with the coat. Serial killer. Oh, oh my. A serial killer? Oh god, it's one of us. That's three now. Oh. Wait. Big fat guy still walking the streets. We've got to put a lid on this. If you can't manage it, I'll find someone who can. That guy. I found out where she's been staying. I know she's here. You must have seen her. What are the two of you hiding? Oh, he's in beast mode. Doesn't matter. Maybe you just want to punish someone. We can arrange that. Uh oh. Uh, what did you do? Friend on friend, at the end of the end. Jesus Christ, baby. Is that you? And that's going to be it for today's video, my dears. Thank you so much for joining me for The Wolf Among Us. If you're enjoying this playthrough and you want to see some more, go ahead and leave me a like or a comment down below. And don't forget to hit that sub button on your way out so you can be notified when new videos go up. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.